Hi guys, Anthony from The Hot End. I'm going to go through a part two with the microscope. Okay, so I've had a couple of people want to see some more filament types with the microscope, so I'm quite happy to do that now. Um, I also need to clarify a couple of things from the previous video. Uh, roughness is not the only factor which causes an abrasive filament. It is also the particle hardness, which I thought was self-explanatory, but some people like to just be keyboard warriors, so I'm putting it out there. Okay, so this filament is cork from Colorfab. So cork fill. I'll put a link to the description. It looks really interesting. There we go. You can see all the um, the random particles in there through the filament and the occasional crap that's stuck to it and let's check out the edge yeah, it is rough so I don't know if this would be particularly abrasive but um, for the sake of the price of a hardened nozzle, it's not going to cause any harm just to do it anyway. Uh, I put a link in the description. I believe it's about $15 for a Micro Swiss hardened nozzle. So I, I'd just do it on every printer just for peace of mind. Okay, so we'll move on to the next filament, which will be NGEN. This was in my, um, uh, was it MakerBox? The MakerBox sample filaments. And it's called, yeah, N-G-E-N, -E so engine. There's a lot of pigment in that. Oh, it looks to be PLA based, but never can tell. So if you're interested in any of these filaments, I'll put all the links in the description. So this one's NGEN. I'm fairly sure it's um, color fab. Cool. All right. Next up, we have Advanced PLA, and this one is from, who's this one from, uh, 3D Fuel. So this is the high temperature Advanced PLA, which you anneal in the oven. Okay, looks very, very smooth, very uniform. You can see some random chunks of color pigment in there. Obviously stuff that didn't get mixed properly or film, uh, the pigment that's larger than the screen size, screening size. Then you always see randoms and inclusions and stuff when you're looking this small. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And we'll move on to the next one, which is TPU. Ah, uh, not TPU. Pet G. What am I saying? So this one, yeah, Pet G from Form Futura. There is a lot of metallic looking pigment in there. That's why the prints come out so awesome and shiny. I found that this filament is um, 
Although their brand of filaments appear to be aimed for the higher end market. Like they're not cheap, but the quality is just crazy good. Okay. So that's all fairly uniform, not really anything of out of the ordinary in here. Then we'll move on. Um, now this one's the beer filament again from Buzzed. B-E-E-R, beer. Yes, beer, like to drink. Because this one's got a lot of random inclusions because it's a organic based PLA. So this would be all the random I would assume hops and probably yeast and all other kinds of stuff that's included with beer, malt. So it's interesting to see this low anyway. Look at that chunk. So they'll make for a fairly unique print. So no two prints with this stuff will be the same. What is that chunk over here? Sorry, it's really difficult to control at this level. Looks like a wart. Same colour as um, like ballistics gel. Okay, and there's the cut at the end. There is a possibility that I got the carbon fibre and the wood fill mixed up in the last video, so I'm going to do this one again. This is 100% definitely the carbon fibre. You can just see how rough that is. So if anyone's interested in um some more up close stuff. I might even purchase a new microscope to get in further if you're interested. But um, for, to fund that, I'll need to get some more patrons. Patreon information is below. And yeah, I'm talking like a three or four thousand dollar microscope. This will get in. That'll get in super close. This at the moment is only a couple of hundred times. I want to get into a couple of thousand times. And again, uh, I'll show you some sandpaper. This is 400 grit for comparison. So you can just see how abrasive that, that carbon fiber will be. So sandpaper, carbon fiber, focus. Cool. And I'll um, show you a couple of other things while, we're, while we've got the microscope out. This one's a print. So this is a print at 50 micron. Let's see if we can see some layers. pretty boring on this one but you can see the uniform lines 
I'll get another print. Alrighty, this one is a um, Protopasta, one of their metallics. And you can see straight away that that looks abrasive as. So I'll show you this print. Iron Man. And I'm just microscope straight up to his head. Yeah, you can just see how abrasive that is. Let's move on. This one is Protopasta stainless steel. And this has been sanded. So this one is the um, Star Trek phaser and yeah, Protopasta stainless steel. Yeah, nice and uniform. That will most certainly give your nozzle a what for. Uh, what else have we got? Here is wood fill, so the normal wood color wood fill. Let's see if we can get some up close. Now this has been sanded so I don't know if we're going to be able to see the grain structures. So this is after it's been melted. So a lot of the rough, rough stuff would have been nuked. And that's another comment that I had, that um, showing all the dust on the filament, people seem to think that with temperature, things disappear and disintegrate into nothing. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you need a lot of temperature to make something disintegrate. It's going to just cause a carbon buildup in your hot end. So I still stand by that everyone should use a nozzle filter slash wipe slash cleaner, whatever you like to call it. Uh, this one is Pet G printed. Focus. There we go. How's the layers? So this is a hundred micron. And if you haven't seen this print, this one is the Indiana Jones Idol. Which I didn't really realize was a chick giving birth. See the baby popping out between the legs? Didn't know that. Learn something new every day. And there's the layering printed. That's a good print. Okay, uh, what else have we got? Here is, uh, remember this guy? He was printed at 300 micron and it was the uh, 3D fuel algae, algae print. Wow, look at all the stuff in there. So this is algae algae based PLA which is supposed to be supposedly a renewable resource you can just see all the random inclusions in there I mean some of this will be dust from sitting out but a lot of this will be inclusions from the PLA process
Cool. And um, I'll see if the cable reaches and we might be able to get some footage of the hot end on my printer. Okay, so that was the actual nozzle directly off my printer itself. Uh, I don't think it's going to reach to the other printer. I couldn't, um, I could not get that close enough on the other printer. So anyway, I hope you like this video, guys. If you've got any other ideas of things you'd like to see 3D printed related under the microscope, please shoot me a message. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Ciao.